Welcome to Tan Fan Thursday. I'm your coach, Tanner Tanavoli. Today's topic is how to feel appreciated. Let's begin. What does appreciation mean to you? When are the times that you feel appreciated and when are the times that you don't feel appreciated? The way to find that out is by seeing what actions, what expressions, words take place that you feel appreciated or not appreciated. So today I'm going to give you some tips on how to appreciate yourself first and be able to recognize it from others. Number one, hear me out. If you don't feel heard by others, if you find yourself speaking louder, if you find yourself cutting people off in the middle of their sentences to say what you have to say, or if you feel that what you're saying is not important, if you don't feel heard by others, it's because you're not feeling yourself out. You're giving into the voice of fear in your head more than what truly matters, that you matter, your voice matters, what you're saying matters. And you can take the time to listen to another person speaking and you will get that chance. There are always people out there who will connect with you on that level, who will hear you out, but you have to connect with you first. Number two, to see or not to see. Just like not being heard, not feeling seen, it goes back to self. It's because you don't see yourself with a true, beautiful, authentic person that you are. You're disconnecting from your values, you're disconnecting from your own boundaries, and you're attaching yourself to your false beliefs, your thoughts. Those are fear-based. Therefore, whenever you might be out there with a group of people, you might be backing away or you might not make eye contact, being in your phone constantly, these are the signs that you don't feel seen by others. It's because you're not willing to show yourself. You have a mask for disguise, but you want to be seen. You're sitting behind a wall and you can't see the other side because you feel the need to protect yourself. But the downside of that is that you can't see the other side of the wall either. So in order to do that, you gotta go trusting yourself, trusting your values, trusting that you matter, trusting that your time, your energy, your voice, your presence matters. So therefore, bring down the guards and get out there and make an effort to make a connection with others and see what you get back. I bet you anything you're gonna start feeling seen. Number three, respect your time. How do you know you're appreciated? How do you know your time is valued? It's by the way people show up for you, the way they are present when they're having a conversation with you or sitting across from you and listening to exactly what you have to say, seeing you for who you really are. If you feel disrespected or unappreciated, it's because you've lost track of that for yourself. You haven't given enough value to your own time. Time is love. When you give yourself that time that's important to you, that's practicing self-love. If you're really tired, and you're not giving yourself that rest and going outside and constantly giving that time to others, that is not self-love. That is not respecting your own time. So you have to always check in with yourself and see if you're over giving or not. If you're giving your time, which is very valuable to people who are appreciating it. And the only way to know that is you appreciating your own time, respecting your own time. And then you can make a choice from there. The coaching session is now over. I hope the tips have been helpful to you. And if they really resonate with you and want to go on a deeper level, you can contact me at the link below and we can set up a complimentary coaching session. I can't wait to see you all next week. Until then, keep happy and healthy.